Yeah, All right. Well, thanks for your patience, everyone. I'm logged in now. So just to, just to say it again, we're going to cover the period from 1900 to 1920. That's when the uh, Great Migration began. And we're going to talk about urbanization and World War I and learn lots of fun things. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. The Great Migration was the relocation of more than 6 million African Americans from where to where? From the north to the south, east to the west, from rural south to the cities of the north, midwest, and west, or from the west to the east? I guess I'm waiting for one vote. Uh, no, I need a total of two before I can, yep. right? Yeah, yeah. okay. I sent my vote. Oh, I'm running out of time to get one. Is there, do we have a vote yet? There's one. Okay. <laughs> oh crap, I gotta use my phone. Ah, yes. Ah, hurry. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Oh, time out. I gotta get zero. Oh my God. Oh, no way. All right, so I just wanna Ready. see something about that question that I failed to answer. Uh, a black <laughs> worker could earn three times what they earned down south up north. So that's a kind of a wow big deal. And what they were earning up north wasn't much. Okay. Okay. Jen, Jen's getting a sheet of paper. <laughs> cool. <laughs> My cheat notes. It's gonna remind you to um, see standings. Well, what we're happened? Gonna see, we're gonna see points for I think now. I need a I need a magnifying glass. It, the, the way it printed out, oh. it's, it's absolutely microscopic. Mm. I mean, I have read it, but... Uh, okay, question two, strap in. Okay. This migration started due to a bull weevil infestation causing massive cotton crop across the south. Poor economic conditions for Southern Blacks compared to better economic conditions for Northern Blacks. Prevalent racial segregation and discrimination in the Southern states where Jim Crow laws were upheld or all of the above. This time I got my phone. I have one vote. <laughs> And two. All right. The answer was all of the above. It was. Did we all get that right? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm so, wild guessing. Um, <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's time to show the standings. I, I, oh, well, I got the notes bigger, bigger. So can you show us uh, who's winning? Look at that. 168 points. Way to go. Woo. Way to go, Uncle Lyle. So next question is the lightning round. So get your get your right to oh we're oh no. <laughs> I think we're doing it. Okay, so don't don't no, waste no, no, time no. Googling. Go with your gut. And uh, we won't have much time because the points will be gone soon. Double as the soon points as... and no time. <laughs> An organization. Sorry, the National Urban League was an organization working to help Southern, rural Southern Blacks migrating to the North find jobs and adjust to city life. A conservative group in the pocket of big business which took advantage of Black migrants using them to bust unions. Both of the, the above or none of the above. And I have, you have both voted. Oh yeah, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I don't know, why did it start counting down before I had advanced the question? I'm not sure. All I did was click off the standings and it started, oh. but I hadn't clicked the next question. Okay, that's scary. So, yeah. I don't know what the heck. Yeah. Did everyone uh, guess C? Uh, no. Okay. No. We had an A. We had an A? Yeah. It was actually C. Uh, well, it was, uh, okay. it was kind of both at the same time. They were, they were taking advantage of uh, people from the South 
and busting up the unions, but they're also working with them to when they got to the city to help them find a find a shack in an alley to to live on. So it's a, mm -hmm. it was a pretty exploitive thing, but they were uh, trying yeah. to help in a very exploitive kind of way. So with the lightning round, um, I'll just give you guys a hint. It's always green. <laughs> the right answer is always green. The wrong answer is always red. <laughs> okay, so because you don't have any t any time to Google, so. And, okay. All right. Ready? Question four. What events precipitated the NAACP's Negro Silent Protest Parade? The East St. Louis riots, Rosa Parks' arrest, police shooting of James Powell, or the police beating of John Smith? And we have a vote. Oh, still got four minutes to Google. You're, you're, you're sure, eh, Lyle? <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. And you're both correct. All right. That's cool. Is it St. Louis or St. Louis? St. Louis, they call it. Okay. Oh, oh, thank you. I always say Louis. Yeah, that's probably. Always, that's, I always that's, say St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah. They, they pronounce it St. Louis, but they pronounce lots of French words weird. <laughs> I'm just be right back. Noticed I was unplugged there. I wanna, don't want to take any chances. Okay, plugged in now. Ready. Ready for number five. Here we go. <clears throat> I said five. Oh, here we go. In his 1918 editorial, Close Ranks, Du Bois urged Black Americans to present a united front in the fight for equality, run platoon marching drills in preparation for upcoming protest march, stay united in order to defend themselves and each other, or put aside their special grievances and join the World War I war effort. There's oil, I guess. Oh, you still got three minutes? Yeah, I know. I wild guess. Um, they do call them it the was Saint correct. Louis. Yeah. They do call them the St. Louis Blues in hockey, right? Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Just um, getting back to the St. Louis and the riot, there was, there was actually three years of riots that uh, led up to that big one in St. Louis and uh, in like mm -hmm. most of the cities and tons, tons of little ones too. So, uh, there's a name for it. Ready for six? I didn't write it down. Yeah, ready for six, yeah. How did the French treat the segregated 369th Infantry Regiment on loan from the US? The French treated members as inferior beings, uh, inferior beings taking direction from the secret information concerning Black American troops pamphlet. The French accepted all the black 369th Regiment with open arms and welcomed them to their country. The French used this regiment primarily for grunt labor as they couldn't be trusted in the trenches. None of the above. Obviously, the French weren't World War I players and as they fell quickly to Hitler's Blitzkrieg. This one surprised me. We have a vote. We have two votes, both correct. 
Okay. The French accepted all the black 369th Regiment with open arms and welcomed them to their country. That uh, pamphlet I referred to in, in A is in quotes. Like that's the real title for it. So uh, Google that sometime when you have time because it's, mm -hmm. it's interesting as well. Okay. No, oh, wrong way. Number seven. Where did the Harlem Hellfighters march in their victory parade? They paraded victoriously up Fifth Avenue, the same street as the silent NAAC march two years earlier, but in the opposite direction. South along Sixth Ave from 59th Street all the way to 34th and Herald Square. Along Broadway from Bowling Green through the Canyon of Heroes to Barclay Street, or around Central Park, along Central Park West to 110th, over to Fifth Avenue, down to 59th Street, then back to Central Park West. I can't hear Harold Square without thinking about that song, Give My Regards to Broadway. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll give away that. That's not the answer. That's where the we Macy's have... Day Thanksgiving parade is. Right. Yes. Yeah. We do I have, I think, while I voted. Uh-oh. I clicked the wrong thing. Uh-oh. Oh, good. I changed it quick enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> You both voted correctly. They paraded victoriously up Fifth Ave, the same street as the silent NAACP, NAACP march two years earlier, but in the opposite direction. Yeah, Harlem Hellfighters. Okay. What do we got? <gasps> it is a tight game, kids. Oh, oh. oh. Look at that. All right. Within, within 85 points of each other. Okay. This is interesting. Question eight. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, a or B, did African Americans serve, serve in World War I secure their rights at home? Yes, putting aside special grievances paid off as Du Bois had hoped. No lynchings and other KKK activities escalated dramatically. We have a vote. And we have two correct votes. All right. Activities so escalated dramatically. Yep, two reasons for that. Or in the South, it was a lot to do with the fear of uh, black soldiers living alongside uh, white Southerners when the black soldiers had uh, military military training. So, mm -hmm. uh, and there were a lot of people like lynched in their, in their uniforms. It was uh, really, really horrific. Uh, but up north, it was um, that labor. Because now, they're, because now they're black and armed. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> now they're black and armed, yeah. And then in the north, it was, um, the problem was the labor unrest. A lot of uh, people came back and found their jobs uh, had been taken uh, by black people working for a lot less uh, than they were getting paid. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the same narratives you, I'm reading were, were at play hundred years ago that are still in play now. You know, they're, yeah. they're taking our jobs and... That's so sad. Mm -hmm. Okay, number nine. What film made cinematic history as the first feature length film to use close-ups, fade outs, and a musical score? Multiple choice. A, Frankenstein, 
B, a trip to the moon, C, the birth of a nation, or D, 20,000 leagues under the sea? We have a vote. Okay. I know the answer, but I'm just gonna say a little bit about question eight. Um, <coughs> the other thing I wanted to mention is that the returning soldiers had be, uh, come accustomed to being treated as equals in Europe. So coming back to uh, the US was a big shock and a big shift in their attitudes towards uh, what they would put up with basically. So it's. Uh, Oh, I'm clicking on the on the Zoom call. I got to get my phone out. <laughs> okay, here we go. Birth of a nation is my vote for my guess. Both correct votes. The birth of a nation. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Recruitment video? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Crazy. Finish your thought, Jen. Whose recruitment video? The KKK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, crazy, That's crazy crazy stuff, eh? That's mind blowing. I know. That was the, the first video. Oh, no, no. Yeah, that was the first like movie to have that much effort put into it, and that's what it was all about. It's like okay, here we go with uh, question ten. Final question. You guys are still neck and neck, so let's see what happens. Who was president when Birth of a Nation was shown in the White House? Ulysses S. Grant. Theodore Roosevelt, Woodrow Wilson, or don't make me say the name. <laughs> don't or bother. The I'm voting Trump. Mega. Mega. <laughs> well, you voted incorrectly. <laughs> but Lyle voted correctly. Was so this, the only vote, this would be the only vote I'd ever give Donald Trump. No one was wrong. Hey, he's got three weeks. He could probably show Birth of the Nation in the White House still. <laughs> oh, he probably watched it. <laughs> mm. Okay. All right, drum roll. Drum roll, please. Who won? Wow, oh, way to go. <laughs> oh, pretty close. That's a close one. Yeah. Him. Oh, 27, 27 points difference. Right. That's crazy. We're 85 points behind two questions ago. Mm -hmm. Very nice. <laughs> you, win the, you win the big cheese sandwich, my grandma would say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I just had it. We had grilled cheese for supper. So good. Grilled, oh, cheese with bacon, grilled cheese with bacon and tomato. And, so that was pretty good. Yeah. I'm mm. still stuck. Here we go. Alrighty. Well, I'll, uh, I got to run. So I'll uh, thank you guys for your attention. Thanks for running the quiz. Thanks for tuning in, Lyle. And thanks for winning. Kicking kick oh, my butt. Always <laughs> fun. Always fun to chat. Good yep. topic. Yeah. Nice to see you again. Okay. All right. Good seeing you. Good night. Good night.